and good Monday evening to you, and welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. I had some more time off last week. Now, my vacation ended on kind of a non-vacation note. I came in and uh, provided weather coverage on the on the morning show Sunday morning, so my alarm went off at like 3 a.m., and then while I was sleeping last night, I, I did wake up and instinct told me to check my phone and just check, uh, check in and make sure everything was going according to plan, and I looked at my phone and saw there was a tornado warning out to our west across parts of Stark County, Portage County, and so I got out of bed and uh, got uh, on on the live stream and provided live streaming coverage in the middle of the night for like an hour. Not exactly uh, the way I wanted to end my vacation necessarily, but it was something that, uh, you know, needed to do. It's, uh, it's my philosophy, hey, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, what time of the, of the day it is, if we've got serious weather, then I want to be there to uh, to help you guys out and uh, guide you through it. Here's a radar loop over the last, uh, or this was last night, starting around 7 p.m. and taking us through about daybreak this morning. Mean looking line of showers and storms moved through. Now we had no tornado warnings in our TV viewing area, but we had a slew of severe thunderstorm warnings. Thankfully, the rotation signature, which was stronger off to the west, uh, weakened some and uh, really wasn't much of an issue for us here locally, but we did have plenty of just uh, regular thunderstorm wind damage in northeast Ohio, and especially into northwestern Pennsylvania and into southwestern New York. Some flooding issues also down towards the Pittsburgh metro area, and uh, around our TV viewing area, as expected, or as is often the case in thunderstorm situations, uh, amounts varied, but we had over an inch in southern Columbiana County, about an inch, but it was pretty common around Latonia, Columbiana, Salem, Washingtonville, Amounts a little bit lower, up towards 224 in Mahoning County, but then they got higher again up towards Route 87 in northern Trumbull County, north of Cortland especially, up towards Mesopotamia and uh, Bloomfield and heading over towards Kinsman, Greenville into Mercer County and, and Jackson Center, New Lebanon. We have some rain gauges over there that uh, did register uh, over an inch, even close to two inches over towards Jackson Center with rainfall over the last 24 hours. Now at the airport, amounts a little more modest, a .44 in the gauge officially at the airport, but We've had measurable precipitation now at the airport eight of the last ten days. We're still running a deficit for July, uh, because at the airport anyway, we've missed out on some of the heavier episodes of rain, but still it's been nice to see more frequent bouts of precipitation over the last week or week and a half after a pretty long dry stretch during a lot of June and early July. But it feels a lot nicer out there this evening. We spent the weekend with dew points mostly in the lower 70s. Now our dew point, a more delicious 55. More breathable air out there this afternoon and into tonight, and these lower dew points will allow temperatures to drop pretty nicely tonight, even a little bit, just a shade cooler than average overnight. Now, a little bit of an increase in clouds tonight may uh, make for difficult viewing at times for a, a pretty nice space station flyby tonight. If you're up late, this will be worth trying to check out, even though it won't be crystal clear. Uh, 11.32 is when this starts. It's a quickie over and done with in about three minutes, but it gets pretty high in the sky. Maximum elevation of about 46 degrees, and mostly it stays in the northwest sky. So check that out at about 11.32 this evening. All right, for our Tuesday, this uh, stationary front will be close enough to us to keep clouds around for a good chunk of the day, but far enough away from us that I don't think we see any rain. I think uh, there'll be some sc uh, scattered showers, especially south of Interstate 70, down into southern Ohio, parts of West Virginia, southwestern PA. But around here, clouds will be around a lot of the day. That'll keep a lid on temperatures. We'll see some intervals of sun, especially later in the afternoon. Sky can go partly cloudy for a time. And then clouds roll back in Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, spotty shower or storm is a possibility. And in the wake of this warm front, we'll be briefly in this kind of warm sector on Wednesday, so the dew points are going to come back up on Wednesday. Uh, kind of similar to what we had over the weekend. Thankfully, though, that'll be a, a pretty quick-hitting little shot of very muggy air, because in the wake of this second front on Thursday, kind of a weak cool front, not much cool air with it, but a little bit of a dew point drop coming Thursday afternoon, but especially into Thursday night and Friday. It looks like a beautiful weekend ahead. Now, as we flip the calendar to August next week, some changes, a massive ridge building across the Four Corners region in the western U.S. Uh, early in the week. We will be pretty comfortable through the weekend into early next week, even into midweek. It won't be all that hot. Nothing atypical for early August. But as we head deeper into next week, towards the end of next week and into the following weekend, there are signs that this heat dome will try to meander far enough to the east that by especially like next Thursday, Friday, into next weekend, uh, we may get in on some pretty high heat around here. Now, records, no. Upper 90s, nothing like that, no. 
Um, but with the core of this ridge trying to build out to the east, some I would expect uh, us to at least flirt with 90, if not get into the 90s for a couple of days at least at the end of next week into that first weekend of August. But here's a look at the next 10 days. We don't stray too far from the average high temperature wise through uh, the upcoming weekend, bobbing around within a degree or two of that average high of about 83. Now, our average high does begin that long process of falling uh, by the very end of this weekend into the weekend as we lose one degree off those average highs starting the process that of course continues all the way through January. It's very slow at first though, so our average high does drop from 83 to 82 by the weekend. Again, we'll be pretty close to those averages through Saturday, but then you know, consistently a few degrees above average first half of next week. By the second half of next week though, again, I think we'll see some upper 80s if not lower 90s as that heat dome starts to meander a little bit to the east. All right, full updates uh, on the weather and everything else you need to know about the forecast uh, coming up on 21 News and 11 tonight. Thanks for watching this Monday evening. Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you back here on Tuesday.